hi guys and welcome back to my channel i am forever essence if you're new here thank you for coming and please subscribe um today i'm going to be showing you how i got this gorgeous highlighted look on this it was a black wig so i did just go ahead and spice it up in time for fall i needed some highlights i needed some fall colors but let's talk about this hair this wig was sent to me by yolissa's hair and i honestly love this hair i'm not going to sit and be one of those gurus that lie i love this wig the lace was beautiful as you can tell this is their 13 by 6 frontal wig and I do have a code so look in the description box but in this video I'm going to show you how I hair color how I curl how I lay my hair how I lighten the lace how I do all types of stuff so if you're interested please keep on watching and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and comment down below and please subscribe if you haven't already and thank you so much Yolissa's hair for sending me my first wig to review I'm very very grateful I'm very excited and yeah let's get straight into this video Video. Hey guys, and again, this is from Yolissa's hair. It came in a nice box package like this in a great wrapping with their little logo, Yolissa hair. It came with this satin bag and it came with an elastic band as well and some lashes. But yeah, this is how it was packaged. It packaged really nicely. Very nice. This is a 13 by 6 frontal wig and it came with clips on the inside and it was machine made which I love. It also has adjustable straps. As you can see the hair is very nice as well as this lace. This is pre-plucked. I barely had to pluck it. So getting right into the bleaching part, I do use this Ion Color Brilliant um, Powder Bleach from Sally's. You can pick it up there. I do love this one and I'm going to be pairing it with a 40 volume developer and a 30 volume and you do need your whisk to mix everything. So we're just going to get a scoop of bleach. You don't need too much bleach because you need your consistency to be um, actually thin so it can get on each side of the hair. So I kind of like put some back. But I'm doing 30 volume on one side and 40 volume on the other just because 30 is going to go a little slower. And we're going to put that in the back of the hair so that it can just be a brown and not try to bleach to a brighter color. And I do work pretty fast. You may want to use a 20 volume so just to be on the safe side. Make sure you mix everything very well. I know some of the powder can stay at the bottom so make sure you just get that before you move on. So for the back of my hair, I'm going to be using the 30 volume developer side just because I just want this to be brown. I don't need any bright blonde highlights or anything. It's very easy. Just slap it up there. But please make sure you're working it through each sides of the hair and really working it through. You'll see me massage in the bleach and just really take my time making sure it's worked completely in. That's how you don't have any blotches of different colors or anything. This is how you get your consistency. Just take your time. Be patient, it does take a while, it is very tedious, but you got it. You'll also see me kind of open up the hair so I can get more bleach deposited and then just comb through it and add bleach again. Just really make sure it's really worked in. We're just going section by section. You may want to do smaller sections. I'm kind of like used to this, so I kind of know how to work the bleach in. But if you're afraid the bleach won't work in completely, just do thinner sections and it'll it'll get through on each side. Just take your time. Once I finish um, each row, I do use the full method. I got these full sheets from Dollar Tree for a dollar and they're perfect for hair. I get a whole bunch, so that's tea. You just want to fold it in half and put each little section in the foil and make sure you have a nice clean fold over. Once I get up to the frontal, I am kind of flicking my wrist up, if you can tell what I'm trying to say. I'm just kind of flicking it so that it kind of blends seamlessly with the roots. It's not just a straight across bleach. It's going to kind of blend better. That's why I flick it up. Someone that you love, someone that you love, someone that you love. 
So once I was finished with the top, I went ahead and took the foil off of the back strips just because I don't need this to process any further. This brown is really pretty and I don't need it to try to highlight to a blonde. Iso Plus Shampoo to get the chemicals out and Purple Shampoo just to kind of give you some toning going. And this is the first result. This is the browns I got. The top is a tad bit brighter. But right now I'm just going to brighten up the ends of the back of the hair. I want a little ombre effect going so that's why I'm adding more bleach to the ends. I do want it to be a little bit brighter than the brown I already have. So we're ready to get to the top. I would say just make a square in the top of your hair because we want our highlights to focus on the top. Well, I do. And I leave my baby hairs out. But what we're going to do, we're going to take a slice, a thin slice of hair as if you're just adding highlights to the front two pieces. But we're going to do a horizontal cross and get a thick section for the bleaching. And then we're going to do another slice behind it and leave that completely out. We want that to stay brown. You'll see what I mean in a second. The, the row behind it, you're going to slice it. And we're actually going to leave that part brown. So we're not going to touch that with bleach. Go behind it and do the same thing. Repeat the process. And I think I do this two to three times at the top because this is a 13 by 6 frontal. So I have a little bit more going at the top. <laughs> if that makes sense. Just get you a nice size square at the top of your head. And then you're going to part straight across and do slices. And it's going to lay, once it lays, it'll be on both sides. Your highlights will be on both sides. You'll see the results. Just, I hope that makes sense. And again, leave the brown out. And we're going to bleach the part behind it. And we're going to foil it. I'm actually going to go back in. And for those brown parts that we left out, I'm going to put a um, soft brown color on top of it. Because I'm not really feeling the brown that I have right now. So I'm just going to darken it up just a bit. And that's what you see here. I did use a soft brown by L'Oreal High Color. I really didn't need to use bleach. I could have just used this for the slices that I wanted brown, but whatever. I just, I'm just going to change up the brown just a little bit. But if you like the brown you came out, if you probably process it slower with the 20 volume developer or even 10, you might like the chocolate brown that it would have went, but mine's kind of bleached. It lifted pretty fast. And now I'm honestly just going to change everywhere I want brown. I'm going to put that soft brown color up there. So like everywhere. You see the ends of the back is already lifting to blonde. So I just want everywhere I want brown. I'm going to just put the soft brown up there just to give it a better brown. Mm -hmm. And this is what we have after two processes. Um, if you wanted anything to be lighter or darker, you can go in and bleach again or add more color or whatever, but I'm just going to leave it. I use this flat iron spray and smoothing milk and also this Frizz Buster Serum just to get me laid and slayed, okay? Shining and binding. What the hell is binding? I don't know. I can feel it now. I I love seeing the true reveal, the true color of the hair after it's been colored and blow dried. I swear it just does a complete change and I just love it. This is the best part. It's so beautiful. I, I, I absolutely love it. Like, love. The ends are still very full. The hair is very soft. And yeah, I'm going to add the serum to get it even more shiny. And it's just like, it makes it really soft and pretty. So yeah. If you doing anything with wigs, get you a hot comb, lay that hair flat, ain't nothing gonna get it as flat as this hot comb is going to get it, baby. That shit will be slayed. Look how beautiful this hair pressed out. It did amazing after all those processes of bleach. It did super great. The hair really kept up. And this is what I meant by the horizontal slices. You see how the highlights are on each side of the hair. I didn't have to do a whole bunch. I just had to stick to the middle. It was going to fall over. So this is her. I done customized it and everything. Colored it. And we're going to just do a quick install using freeze spray. But I am so happy with how it turned out. It has my brown vibes and fall colors going with some highlights. Again, this is a 13 by 6 frontal. So the 6 just has a longer part. They also have adjustable straps in here. So you get the adjustable straps and 
the combs, okay? I'm gonna put the clip in the back. I didn't put the elastic band in there just because it does have the clip, so yeah. But yeah, I love this. That's really pretty. Y'all y'all know I got a million install videos on my page. So I'm just going to do a quick install with free spray, honestly, because I'm about to wash my hair. So I do want to say I barely had to put this lace. Honestly, I barely really plucked it. Um, the lace was really beautiful and everything. And this actually isn't their transparent lace, but it's going to melt really pretty. And this is what I do when I don't want to do the full stocking cap method. So just put makeup to kind of camouflage that white band right there, the color of your skin skin tone, and it definitely does just blend. Okay, I'm going to stop talking because y'all know I've done this a million times. If you want to see a detailed video of how to cut your lace, just go ahead and go to my channel. I do have cut how you cut your lace, how you move your lace, how you style your lace, all of that on my page. So a regular day when I want to tack down my wig I just think Just gives you a nice little flow. 
Okay. And if you watch to the end, comment below. Let me know so I can know who really supports me. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you're new here. And thank you for coming. Don't forget, I have my own coupon code Essence E S S Y N C E at Yolissa's Hair for you to get money off of this exact same wig. Oh, and T, I'm about to drop a video on how to protect your lace from color so you can dye your colors and no color gets on your lace at all so make sure you check that out as well subscribe 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 so you can keep in touch with me i'm going to keep giving you secrets revealed if you're a wig person if you want to get into wigs whatever make sure you follow this page because i will be giving you all the tea thank you so much for watching and please come back oh 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 Thank you guys, and I'll see you later. Bye.